Today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to defend really any kind of gun bunch formation in Madden 24. And we're going to be showing this out of the dollar three two. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to the Patreon in the description. It's where you can get access to all of my ebooks. Got more formations in there than just dollar, and I guarantee it's going to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars, and I guarantee it's going to help you become a better player. All right, so the play is DB Fire 2. That's the base play in dollar that we want to be using. We're going to be rocking auto alignment on base, and then we're going to have our zone coverage set to match coverage. Now, the biggest key uh, with this defense and how we're going to defend bunch is we're going to take advantage of the fact that uh, basically take advantage of the alignment a bunch. So we're going to pinch our defense, and then uh, from there, we're going to kind of stand in this gap with our user. Now, from there, that's pretty much it. The blitz is entirely set up. We don't need to do anything else from that regard. The thing that you want to do against um, the thing you want to do against bunch is you want to take away a couple of key things. One of the biggest key things is any solo wide receiver C route, any solo wide receiver, any running back wheel route. Those are all keys. So what we're going to do is we're going to hard flat this left side defender and we're going to man up the safety on the solo wide receiver. That's going to take away a lot of different things from that solo wide receiver. And then that hard flat is going to do a good job of kind of lurking any kind of running back wheel or running back flat or if the tight end runs a drag route or something like that. And then really from there, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to put this outside uh, player the circle, uh, the outside corner on the right, we're going to put him in an outside quarter. And then we are going to take the linebacker and we're going to put him in a hard flat. What this is going to do, what these adjustments are going to do is you're going to have to basically use her as a mid, middle third or mid read defender to the bunch side. Your primary lurk on this is you're looking to work and lurk the uh, crosser in vertical. So let's say they run verticals. You're going to see here that I'm going to start here and then I'm going to go back up to the crosser. And by the time they could throw the tight end wheel, the pressure is already going to be uh, basically be there. OK, now this is also going to do a really, really good job of defending things such as any kind of flood concept to the bunch side. When you have the adjustments that we have here with that outside quarter as a base aligned quarter, base aligned quarters are really pretty decent this year at breaking on these corner routes so you see right there he didn't i you know two controllers but uh he was there okay uh the quarters i can't i can't stress enough how good quarters are uh in fact i'll show you one other thing so let's say a lot of people if you put this guy here on an outside third because we're base aligned the vertical streak will basically just roast the outside third okay but i'll show you a little bit of a trick um, and we'll give you kind of a second defense here as well. If we take this outside player and we put him in an outside quarter, a lot of times what will happen is he'll actually, he won't get that misstep. See that? He doesn't get the misstep. And he's actually able to play that better. I'm telling you, if you want to press your deep zones, be use quarter zones. They are really effective. And then from there, what we can do is we can now create different types of cross man uh, to take away, for example, the tight end wheel and verticals, or this cross man right here will take away the crosser in verticals. And then all you got to do is basically worry about the tight end. So, you know, maybe a defense that looks something like this, actually not terrible. If the running back does go to the flat to the left side, you're going to have to take that. Um, so like, let's say, for example, they run um, a setup that looks something like this. Well, off rip, my user has to take the running back. So the post is going to be open, but we're kind of banking on our pressure to be able to get in there and kind of delay the read a little bit. OK, um, obviously, there's a ton of other ways to defend bunch. I just think this is one of the best ways to defend bunch if you want to run uh, some zone coverage and you can do it a couple different ways. As I said, you could do this setup right here or you could utilize cross man to take away things like the, the crossing route and then um, you can still kind of be in your outside quarter and then with this deep half defender he's not as uh, important because we have the slot cross manned so the slot streaks not as big of a concern so we can take um, we can take this guy and man him up on the circle receiver in the bunch and then really from there we've got a pretty balanced attack 
um, and a little balanced way into fitting bunts. Another cool little trick to stop double posts. If you want to stop double posts, the best route zone in the game uh, to stop double posts is to utilize this uh, mid read. When that post cuts right over the middle, you'll see the mid read will be right there to be able to drop a pick for you. Shout out to EA Sports. It's in the game. Guys, if you want to get better at Madden, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player. You're going to start getting more stops. And we're going to teach you some of the best defenses and offenses in the game. So make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks, and I guarantee it's going to get you better at this game. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.